Hotels have been used as metaphors for the afterlife in many films and TV shows. Because of the transient nature of hotels, this comparison makes a lot of sense. In some narratives, the hotel acts as a sort of purgatory for lost souls before they fully leave the world of the living. In others, the hotel is a destination, functioning as a place of eternal paradise or damnation. In this video, I'll explore the two major themes that seem to be explored with the hotel metaphor, judgment and redemption. In the Catholic doctrine, purgatory is a place or state of suffering inhabited by the souls of sinners who are expiating their sins before going to heaven. When I say purgatory, I don't necessarily mean it in the same way Catholics do. It's less a place of suffering and more of this transient place one goes to learn the necessary lessons or rather shed any resentment before crossing over to another realm. The TV show Hotel de Luna perfectly encapsulates this. In the Korean drama Hotel de Luna, the hotel acts as a sort of purgatory for the dead, housing their souls until they are ready to pass on. The hotel is run by Jang Manwal. She was appointed as the owner as a curse and is binded to the hotel and has been for over a millennia. She is unable to pass on as she has too much anger and resentment in her from her previous life that she hasn't yet resolved. She hasn't atoned for her crimes. The other inhabitants that have been in the hotel the longest work as staff in the hotel and have all been wronged in their lives and are fixated on righting those wrongs before crossing over. In the narrative, ghosts who let their resentment consume them can become vengeful spirits who would be vaporized if they harm a living person, effectively erasing them from existence and cutting them off from crossing to the other realm. Most of the ghosts that come to the hotel stay there for a relatively short period of time before they are ready to pass on. The hotel lets them calm down and come to terms with their situation. Others have this sort of anchorage, whether that be resentment or unaccomplished goals that they feel they must achieve before they can truly let go of this realm. While redemption is one of the core messages of Hotel de Luna, it doesn't shy away from showing that not everyone wants to be redeemed, and that redemption can be a frustrating non-linear process, and highlights the humanity that is present in all of us. In Has Been Hotel, the Princess of Hell Charlie comes up with a possible solution for the overpopulation problem in Hell. Instead of exterminating tons of demons every year, she puts forth an alternative method, a hotel that rehabilitates the souls of sinners and gives them a chance for redemption. Of course, everyone thinks it's an extremely foolish plan and that these demons are too far gone to be help. As Alastair puts it, The chance given was the life they lived before. The punishment is this. There's no undoing what is done. Even though Charlie doesn't know if her plan will be futile, she's still optimistic that she can rehabilitate these souls. Has been a tell is particularly interesting because unlike the ghosts of Hotel de Luna who are waiting to leave the realm of the living, in Has Been Hotel, they've already left and are facing eternal damnation. Redemption is particularly hard when you believe you're unredeemable and everyone around you reinforces that thought. So I'm very excited to see how this plays out in the upcoming series. In the first book in the Percy Jackson series, Percy and his friends Annabeth and Grover encounter the Lotus Hotel and Casino, a place where time never passes and where once you enter, you can never leave. It is filled with games and entertainment of all sorts to bewitch everyone that enters into staying and becoming mere shells of themselves, driven by only entertainment. They lose their sense of time and ultimately become trapped forever, with their only escape being divine intervention. The portrayal of the Lotus Hotel mirrors the 1976 song by the Eagles called Hotel California. The lyrics state, You can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Hotel California can be a metaphor for hedonism, addiction, etc. But for taking the lyrics at face value, it details of a man entering in a hotel, seeing people indulge in all kinds of things, being a bit unnerved and trying to leave, but realizing he's stuck there forever, a state of hell and heaven at the same time. While the inhabitants of the Lotus Hotel are not technically dead, they are stuck in a state of limbo forever, repeating the same actions with no hope of leaving, unbeknownst to them. It's a state of bliss because they are fulfilled and having fun, but we as the readers understand the situation and see it for what it is. Hell masking itself as a paradise. The hotel might be read as a representational space. According to Lefebvre's definition, Representational spaces are directly lived through its associated images and symbols, whether it is a house or a children's playground, a prison or a hotel. A representational space is alive. It speaks. If the hotel is to be as a representational space, what might it represent? In other words, what might the hotel as a metaphor express slash signify? 
At the first sight, the following answers to this question can be given. Loneliness, melancholy, distance, individualism, to leave and to stay, journeys slash voyages, the state of being or acting as a station, temporality, to hang on to something or not be able to hang on to something, affiliation, slash the act of belonging to something or the absence of affiliation, the act of holding on, togetherness, the state of being secluded slash introverted. At this point, one should note that the hotel is a place that is at least as isolated as it is at the same time open to the outside world. Again, connected to the secludedness as well as the notion of secrecy, mystery, the state of being within itself, etc., At this point, the hotel appears as another secret world, or even better said, as a secondary living space, or even as home. In all the media I mentioned, the hotel does act as a secondary world. In Hotel de Luna, the hotel is made to not be noticeable or appealing to living onlookers, while being a magnetic force for roaming spirits. To the living, it appears very modest in size, but when you enter, it's extremely large and lavish, giving the sense that you've stepped into a whole new world. The Lotus Hotel and Casino has a similar effect. On the outside, it seems relatively normal, but upon entering, you slowly realize it's anything but. The rules aren't quite the same, and the people are a bit strange. Has Been Hotel literally takes place in hell, a realm that's all but completely disconnected from the world of the living. The hotel offers us a blank space to examine ideas like redemption and judgment, and how we conceptualize both life and the afterlife. While the hotel is a symbol for transient activities, it can also represent permanence and isolation. The very same hotel metaphor that acts as a bridge in Hotel de Luna functions as a prison in the Lotus Hotel and Casino. It is multifaceted and enables us to see death through a new lens.